So we are coming up to Avebury. This is the mound around Avebury. Okay. And Avebury is actually the largest uh, stone circle in the world. Stone circle There's, in the world? Yeah, yeah. So large that now it's got a village inside of it with shops and houses and pubs. But uh, not all of it is still in place because in the 1600s, the Puritans knocked down a lot of the stones and buried them. But in the 1930s, a guy called Alexander Keeler mm -hmm. came uh, and um, spent his whole family's fortune from Keeler Marmalade uh, on re reconstructing as much of the site as he could. He only got access to half of it, but uh, he did quite a good job. Mm -hmm. Resurrecting it. Okay. So, what? Why are we here? <laughs> why are we here? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, to have a look. Okay. Connect to the energies. Okay. Get a feeling of what's going on. Mm -hmm. Connect to the ancestors. Great. <laughs> okay. So you people believe in your ancestors? Of course. Really? Well, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for our ancestors. Exactly. <laughs> Have you had any history about any ancestor who has maybe reincarnated and, and has done something strange in England before? Is there um, any story I don't, like I don't, that? I don't think too much about it, really. I, it's just in, in the moment, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I do think that uh, our past lives uh, mm -hmm. are the same as our ancestors because yes. it's... Uh, kind of lineage, came out uh, of DNA them. lineage, you know. But we've had many, we've had thousands of lifetimes on this planet, you know. Mm -hmm. some, some more interesting than others. You know. mm -hmm. visit this place for visiting sick, but they know uh, they are coming here for these energies? Um, or yeah, know, some I mean, know, some it's a sacred, sacred site, so mm -hmm. people come here because, of it's, because it's sacred and uh, want to connect to it in different ways, I guess. Some are interested more about the history, some, mm -hmm. some more, more about the mystery, you know, mm -hmm. and some the magic. <laughs> Everybody does that. Yeah. I was here. Cramay no, I'm hono. I call toilet in. Robber said he bought a way. Eddie, I fat toilet in the asset bean. Eh, you're here in your way. I was here. You grow here any day. You had that said it to look for two beach. Now a day ago. Consciousness is everything I tell you. Yeah. If not, wow. But people, people, is it a law or is it yeah, just... Yeah, law is a law. You get fined if, if people... If you do that. If you don't pick up your dog poo, you get fined. Wow. If people, if people see you. <laughs> Originally, the first settlement to be built inside the Henge was a farm. Uh, and the farmer decided it was a nice place to have his uh, sheep grazing because it was sheltered with this mound mm -hmm. around it. So these stones are they part of what? Are they part of it? Yeah, or this is this is um, this is the gateway of the um, uh, the west the western oh. gateway. Okay, 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 okay. And uh, each of the gateways, there were two very large stones. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but um, this this stone has been broken up. So when the Puritans came here, they, um, they would uh, dig holes in front of the stones mm -hmm. and then knock, knock the stone into the hole and then cover, to cover bury it up it to bury it. Intentionally? Yeah, yeah. yeah to, 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 um, the Puritans wanted uh, the only, um, the, um, was it the, yeah, I think it was, um, the Protestant the Church of England, I think, or, or was it the Catholic Church? I can't remember. I think it was the, 
I can never remember which which one. Anyway, one of the churches <laughs> um, that they they basically wanted it to be purely Christian world. So anything pagan or druidic was was destroyed. By so them. how yeah. where do they play, where do you place the druidic or what Romans? What does this? This mean? is this is at least uh, at least six thousand years old. Six, probably so is it older, paganism very, very or what? Old. Druidic time or okay. Celtic Celtic period. Okay. We use the Druid term very broadly. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's it's um, it's not always considered to be such a, an ancient kind of concept. But a Druid is basically a Celtic priest or priestess. Okay. Um, it yeah. means uh, Druid, ik, drink of the oak. So it's like consuming the energy of the oak tree. And the oak tree, you're like this, is the is the family tree, like mm. the ancestors' we tree. We call it the Yoruko tree. Okay. Yeah. And when the oak tree died As after a thousand years or something like that, they planted another oak tree. So it's more like a continual, you know, generational oak grow, rituals you know. or something. Mm. Yeah. So those oak trees were were where people came to connect to the ancestors. You know. I I just I'm asking this because. Uh, why, why, what were they thinking? Why were they trying to bring this one down? Were they looking at it as evil something or what? Yeah, they just wanted basically that everybody to believe only the Christian church. They didn't want anybody to say, oh, what was that standing stone? There must have been some kind of culture, some kind of spiritual religious culture here before the Christian church. I'm, I'm going to find out what it was about, do you know what I mean? So, so they, they were, were trying, trying to, to cover up the cover history. It up. Yeah, cover so you the don't history. even ask questions to know. Exactly, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it makes sense. Yeah, sadly. It makes sense. So, so, then in, so then in the 1930s, a wonderful gentleman called Alexander Keeler dug up the stones wow. and spent his whole family's fortune on re-erecting the stones. And this one, which was a large stone and had been broken up to use for building material in the walls here, um, he stuck bits together that he believed where they came from. <coughs> so the Puritans, not only did they bury the stones, they sometimes put fires in the holes and then knocked the stone in the fire. Then the fire would heat it up and then they would break it into Pieces. Build, building blocks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, Abu Sinya, yeah, well, this place is called Avery. What's the name of this place? Avery, yeah. Avery. Yeah, free Stonehenge. In the best thing called Woodhenge. In the Yaba Ahasin. Now, you know, you can't about stones. And it's a tiny amount of bone buying. Yet, you say, it was Stonehenge. You want to say 1.5 million people from all over the world. No move it. It's a stone in a year. Now we to your gate fee, so so until you can imagine what is going on there. They come there not just for the visit, but they come there for different vibration and different energies and different beliefs and different ideas and our agendas. Obia wana drink here or the eba honomo has been there for over thousands of years. And the waho to your free one yeah baby where another stone so so and no have I know so so what stories and tell you stories need be and I all can idea today you know you are watching the quest of Kabul and I'm always the goddess the voice of our ancestors I am Mami Grace I am the biggest and I am the largest uh -huh. African spiritual platform but we quest and we roam around to prove a point that everybody everybody everywhere in the world believe in spirituality believe in ancestry believe in culture believe in whatever you believe in so now we are taking histories over these stones and so uh, how come this one survived someone came to lift some up like you said yeah the 1930s to, yeah. 1930s yeah. he came to spend a whole family fortune yeah. to rebuild his ancestral I mean, yeah. worship or whatever you believe. He was a druid, yeah. He was a druid. Yeah. So he was trying to put his lineage back into yeah. reality. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. People are, I don't know what kind of spirit people would have to protect their ancestral life. Me, I am trying to do the same thing. I have been bashed. I have a whole lot of enemies, but mm. I'm not bothered though. But I'm happy for him. He spent a whole family fortune to bring this back. At least we have this to talk about and people are visiting here. Mm. Maybe I'm also, I will also be able to lift something up for my ancestors <laughs> one day. So yeah, tell our people. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we want to see more if there's any, there, there are more.
an ancient connection and it's the kind of death, so, so death we, and rebirth. So we knew yeah. about Trinity before the Bible, Oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but let, let me ask this, um, this sun thing, when you talk about spirituality, everything, everywhere you go, you meet the sun. The sun, yeah, yeah. yeah what, what is it about? Uh, some people <laughs> even feel that when the, the Bible says the son of God, the spelling yeah, is yeah. like a lazy O. It's not S-O-N, but it's S-U-N. People are believing that uh, it's referring to this sun that we see here. Mm. To my point of view or my mm. understanding, I decode that when you say son, uh, Jesus' son, mm. like a child that is born, like when I was a child, when I become a son, this son there talks about mm. my vibrations, where I will reach as I grow. Mm. But some are saying, especially my fellow Christians feel that the son is not this son, but it is a child, Jesus, a mm. human mm. being. Mm. So this has become a bit of uh, confusion mm. in spirituality when you talk mm. about this. I feel it is this son they are talking about because when you look at the Pope, the stuff the Pope holds, it doesn't have any human being crucified on it, but you will see the vibration of a son Mm. This sun we see up here on that thing. And people feel that it's not the sun. When you talk about Jesus, you still see this sun vibration around his head. And when you talk about the mother Mary, the halo, you yeah. still mm. see the sun, this sun vibration mm. on the head. So mm. now that you are talking about Trinity, do you people also feel that the do sun you people? <laughs> uh, so feel that the son of God is the lazy O, this son, or you feel uh, the son of God is a personality like me mm. and you? It's interesting you say about the O and the U, because you is like you and me. Mm -hmm. And 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 the O in I'm 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 half Nordic Danish. Okay. So I'm very interested in the kind of Nordic connections. Okay. And Odin, actually, you know Odin, the god, the old father, Odin, he, he it's not a he. Odin actually sim simply means the O, which is like the, in the sun, mm -hmm. S-O-N. Mm -hmm. And actually the O in the ancient traditions, they believe that the planet was actually perpendicular and it was moving around uh, the pole, the North Pole, and they were living in, in the North Pole, mm -hmm. which was like the, the most still vibration. Mm -hmm. And they were connecting to the, the North Star and the galactic center mm -hmm. through, uh, through communication. And the sun, was literally moving every day around the pole in an O. So it, Odin means the O, which was the sun moving in a circle. Yeah. So the Odin represents the light, the the earth, the sun, and everything basically, because it's a, the cycle. Yeah. So, you know. It's so a, that's it. That's what they coin it or they put it together and they say it's the Mazarot. Yeah. I mean, all, all everything in the Christian faith yes. comes from much older traditions like the Nordic traditions. And uh, Christ is a solar deity. He, he is born um, with the, you know, with the kind of the birthing of the sun. Uh, and when he died, he died in the winter, you know, the um, When the sun the is going solstice, down. Yeah, and then rose three days later. Mm -hmm. And when the sun reaches the, the farthest point for the winter solstice, it, it, the solstice means that it's, the soul is sun and stess is stillness. So the sun looks like it stands still for three days and then is reborn. So it comes, so, you know, he's not the only solar deity. We have Osiris, we have Apollo, we have... Um, uh, we have Mitra, uh, Hermes, we have yeah. Horus. Horus, yeah, yeah, mm. and um, even even um, Mithras. Yes, that's Mithras. Mithra. Yeah. That's, that's the room. Which is where myth, myth comes from. Yes. You know, and a lot of the Mithras culture is in the Bible, like the Adam and Eve story. Yeah. is actually a story of the inner journey of the masculine and feminine, which is an ancient alchemical Mithras uh, story, you know. Wow. So, <laughs> so, so, so when we talk about the sun, and and uh, we talk about the moon, yeah. the the solar uh, uh, um, calendar, and then the moon the moon calendar, lunar calendar. So when we talk spirituality now in our generation now, mm -hmm. the sun, how do we put it together? Like how should we measure the sun? How important should we value the sun? How? I don't I don't think we would be alive if we didn't have the sun. It's we are. 
we, we are like like trees and plants we need we need that ecosystem to you know um, to, to, to grow to, to live you know we need we need the rain we need the sun we need the earth same as as the plants you know and the animals you know so and the moon is is like the feminine it's the balance you know the sun and the moon are like father father and mother you know so, mm. Wow <laughs> let me ask you so what actually triggers these two major uh, entities? into a bad move what triggers them i mean the sun and the moon what exactly can bring uh, can trigger them to bring disaster to mankind is there anything uh, man's consciousness if they focus on fear and destruction then they'll get it you know basically <laughs> okay so <laughs> We are still watching, we are still traveling, the journey continues. You are watching the quest, I am the goddess, I am the biggest, I am the largest, I am the tallest. Yes, so we and are I'm still just in very UK. small. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you are not just small. That man is well endowed, he's one of the biggest spiritual people I have ever met in the I like, UK. I like to be small. No, 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 no. it's not possible. <laughs> so all these stones are done by our our brother who wanted to survive, bring back his generation yeah. uh, or his worship or his ancestral line so he lifted all these ones so where he couldn't find a stone he put this pyramid there That's to right, make yeah. sure that one is supposed to be here though I can't find it I yeah. have placed something there exactly but the stone there the one we are going close to looks like a human being again where the dog is that, well yeah that's the goddess stone that's the goddess um, looking over to the, the sun circle, which are these stones here. So we have um, the, the, the major structure around, which is a 12-sided shape. And then within it, you had two circles, the sun circle and the moon circle. Mm -hmm. the, um, uh, the moon circle, the, the center of the moon circle is over there, those mm -hmm. two stones beyond mm -hmm. the pub. Mm -hmm. And this is the remains of the, the, the sun circle that were here. <coughs> and the, the sun circle uh, is more feminine and the moon circle is more masculine because in ancient times the men gathered uh, to, to honor the feminine and the women gathered to honor the masculine in, in balance, in union which uh, hopefully one day we'll Bring come back to. Yes, we'll come back to <laughs> yeah. talk more about it. So that, I want to hear more. Okay, start Yeah, I want to talk about this, this okay, guy sure, first because sure, sure, he's, sure. he's very special. Mm -hmm. um, can you see the shape of an animal? Mm -hmm. What do you see? Tell me. I see a bear looking up to the sky there. Mm -hmm. so we're looking at a bear from behind up there. A bear that is standing. Yeah, 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 looking up to the sun and the, or the sky, the or, or maybe he's looking up, or okay. she is looking up to mm -hmm. um, Ursa Major, which mm -hmm. is the big bear in the sky. Mm -hmm. So this is very much about astrological. It's, it's balancing the masculine and the feminine with the moon and the, and the sun and different and the equinoxes, solstices. So this is a massive um, uh, astrological, uh, you know, kind of um, uh, observatory, you know. So this means our ancestry, our ancestors, all these people. This place is how old? How how old? Uh, we believe about six thousand years. So as well, so, some. if we should talk about six thousand years, then it means our ancestors six thousand till now they knew about this uh, 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 astrologist. Oh yeah, yeah, very much more than we do now. They wow. they lived they lived it. You know they they were they were not separate at all. You know. It was a life. But the problem is that, that man abused that knowledge. Mm. So throughout generation, generation, the more man abuses the knowledge, the more it's taken away from him. Mm. But we can get it back. It's, it's, it's just that it's all about consciousness. Because yeah, yeah. the more we feel we are going closer to technology, the, the more we detach from oh, from the creation i think we've we've moved away from technology already i you know i think i think it's peaked and now people are realizing that that it's not the answer so they're going to go m more back to basics that's you know? the consciousness yeah 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 so this stone we are not saying anything about it <laughs> this one 
the one here. Oh, this one. Um, that that is um, more. Um, yeah, I, I mean, yeah. No, I don't really have anything to say about okay, that stone. So we can move to the. <laughs> you can move to the. Sorry, stone. <laughs> this this lady is so gravitating. You see, that's why I I haven't stopped at you. Can't do all the stones. Yes, there are many. <laughs> But um, yeah, this is the the only stone that has uh, not only one hole but two, and uh, this, uh, like I said, this is the alignment of the winter solstice sunrise. Okay. And I think that this stone was um, was a, a marriage stone, like a hand fasting stone, where maybe a ribbon was placed through the hole, and then the priest or the priestess here, and then marrying. The, the the man and the woman by binding their hands together with the stone, the goddess stone. She's also got a hole up by her head as well there. So it's called the goddess stone. Yeah, well that's what I call it. Yeah. <laughs> it's mm. great. This is this is awesome. And this is the last stone in the alignment of the winter okay. winter solstice um, alignment. And uh, this has uh, a man made hole that's been used they use um uh, some kind of maybe stone like or, or metal even mm -hmm. to grind a hole and i think it was used for a, a yardstick to be mm -hmm. placed something like that and then from that stone observing the sun and measuring every year where the sun is rising and the winter solstice to see if the poles were shifting because i think the people that created these sites also believed that our planet natural state is perpendicular. Just like Stonehenge. Yeah. yeah, and that they were waiting for the poles to right themselves. And you know, hasn't happened yet, but maybe soon. We are we are very close to um, a polar uh, flip, okay. which will be an inner inner polar flip. So it won't be you know where North Pole becomes South Pole and South Pole becomes North Pole. People think it's going to cause a catastrophe, but. It won't. It will. It will be an internal flip, and it we're going. We, we won't even feel it. Yes. I mean, we feel it consciously, but but not physically. You yes. know. Um, yes. But but people are even saying, like this month, it might happen because people have been calculating the, the quickening of the the poles moving, mm -hmm. and uh, they are reaching very close to the forty degree angle. And um, people believe when it goes beyond 40 degree angle, it will go so quickly that it will flip them. Mm -hmm. So we so don't know. people believe that when this thing happens, this world will come to an end. Have you heard this before? Yeah, that's not, I don't believe it. No, I think, I think it's going to be an internal flip. I feel yeah. it's going to change our mindset. I think it's, yeah, I think it'll be positive, a positive yes. change, not a catastrophe. Yes, you know? yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes. I yes, think yes. it'll be positive. So this world, would it end one day? Yeah, I yeah. feel we will end, the world will still be here. And we will, like, maybe nine 9,000 years time, we will kind of detach from the... It's a pretty useless body, let's face it, you know, it's not a very good spacesuit. You know, I think we'll detach from this spacesuit, become light and not need to keep coming back here to kind of make the same that mistakes over and over again. <laughs> but, the, but the planet will still... The planet will probably still be here and then go back to how it was naturally mm. with mm. the animals mm. and with the, mm. you know, the garden, back to the Garden of Eden, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Ah, do you believe in the Garden of Eden? The Garden of Odin! <laughs> <laughs> Another question was going to come. So, do you do you <laughs> actually believe in the Adam and Eve story? Them, be, them yeah. being the first uh, creation ever. Do you believe that? Yeah. That they were first. I creation? think no. Uh, uh, as a as a sim symbol. As a symbol, yes. We we are we are the Adam and Eve, masculine and feminine. The tree is our spine. The serpent is the Kundalini. Yeah. Okay, but so you don't believe that they were actually man and woman sitting in one garden they being no, the first creation no but i but i think i actually think that the first man and woman were genetically modified between animals between an ape and a goat actually that is that, that will take us <laughs> that's another question this, this, that's another I don't film want to do this one. i i won't do this one. <laughs> so okay. it's fine adam that's and eve right. were symbolic <laughs> we understand that i think that's our level it's fine for now because when you go to you that, asked go to, <laughs> when we go to, but somebody will ask that okay tell us a bit about this uh, 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 goat and this ape uh, you don't want to know do you a bit 
Uh, I'm if, that, if not, people that, are watching, they will shit. ask I mean, why I didn't that, ha just hit us a bit. Well, you don't have to all. use that bit. Eh? You don't have to use that bit. No, in the in the Nordic in the Nordic um, mm -hmm. belief system mm -hmm. that um, basically uh, being you know you're kind of um, multi-dimensional beings uh, fell in love with this planet, mm -hmm. and at that time it was only the natural animals and mm -hmm. plants and even dinosaurs and things like that. And they 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 kept on traveling um, as as light beings, mm -hmm. and they were called elves basically. And and uh, that they they and they were actually um, uh, not masculine or feminine. They were just light beings, and they fell in love in love with the planet so much that they wanted to to live on the planet. So then they had to create a, a vessel to incarnate into. And there were there, they, there wasn't one animal mm -hmm. that was you know gonna allow them so, to incarnate. So mm -hmm. they had to scientifically, Infuse. genetically uh, create through merging DNAs together of different animals. And some people say that it was a mixture of goat and ape that they created the the first man and woman mm -hmm. out of. Which is possible. Why mm -hmm. not? You know. Everything is possible. Yeah. <laughs> Everything is possible. I don't think we just naturally evolved from an ape mm -hmm. uh, I mean because we still have apes on, on this planet I think it needed to be a conscious shift you know an incarnation that's why they can't um, make uh, genetic humans like humanoids because because we have souls and we 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 have to incarnate naturally, organically. We can't just suddenly appear on yes. this planet like, just, like aliens. I'm we not have big, to keep. Don't, I don't actually believe in aliens personally. You don't believe in aliens? No, no. Why? Uh, because I think it's a fear construct. <laughs> wow. I think we're the only aliens on this planet, you know. You don't actually believe in, in aliens, but you, you, you feel the aliens we have on Earth is us. Yeah. If there's. I don't have, think we're naturally meant okay, to be so on this planet. Okay, so you practicing spirituality, have you encountered any entity in your dream or yeah. physically? Yeah, that entities, but not, not physical beings. Okay, so only, only tell us multi-dimensional uh, okay, consciousness. Okay, so tell us one that you you've, you've encountered. I haven't been very happy with them there there because there's a lot of extraterrestrial uh, entities out there that are pure intellect. And they don't understand the love vibration, so I I stay away from them generally. You stay away from from yeah, yeah. from them. So do you do like the fear construct, and also people who want to escape, they actually um, manipulate the concepts of of extraterrestrials and make and actually turn them into more um, real beings than than necessary, and then the collective consciousness intensifies that and they become actually a bigger entity than, than they, they so ever do you, were do you think, man made you know do you think we have entities um, entities that are around us using people manipulating people if yes yeah. is it okay or it's not okay we have to protect ourselves I mean there's always um there's hungry ghosts, you know, out there, you know, there's ancient uh, negative entities that have been created. They've all been created by man, so they can easily be discarded by man and turned into love and light by, by man as well, so. So the, we, we, just, we just have to detach from them or we have to connect with them and change them to work in our favor? I think we have to send them away with love and light. Okay. Not to actually allow them into our, our, our force field, but send, acknowledge them and send them away with love and light and, and hope that they become love and light. You know? Wow. Okay, so let's see what's here. <laughs> <laughs> My mouth, I have plenty of questions. So I can <laughs> yeah, ask yeah. questions. Well, that's why, you, that's why you do your job. Yeah. That's good, you know. Yeah. Um, this, this is the uh, remains of the sun circle okay. that pyramid shaped large pyramid shaped mm -hmm, stone mm -hmm. is used to be the center of the the sun circle okay. and these smaller stones were the inner circle but they have been moved to form the foundation of a barn that okay. used to be there um, and then when the barn was dismantled they just left the stone standing mm. okay abusia into my mom, what a brofono, Montrachro, or Honomona, may try my best, honestly. 
enti no mo ehu embo ye sisi he obi abel lift because some person be ko waste na wa lift and look at side there omo explain bibia spiritually niti why would you throw spirituality away when we talk consciousness spirituality is not about solving your problems it's about locating and discovering your own self so you are able to love your neighbor as yourself treat every living being equally trees animals and all that so this world will be balanced it's as simple as a b c d you are watching the quest i am the biggest okay so um ahani who say it's all about the sun and the moon they connect the energies and all, all that into you know uh yeah by the center i do you connect um stones you know who are hiding in uh with the sun no and uh yeah baby okay so this is what connects what this is what is in the middle can i say that yeah yeah this is the middle of the the sun sun circle um and uh if you look on the outside mm -hmm. I, I use circle uh, kind of just just for ease um you can see from this stone here which is called the kissing stone uh, because it looks like two stones kissing okay and then outside you've got like a half moon shape okay and then a masculine stone and then a, a, a kind of three-quarter moon shape mm -hmm. and then a masculine and then the full moon here inside okay. the circle yes so it's bringing the moon energy from outside circle mm -hmm. into the sun circle wow. so everything is balanced and connected okay. um, this first stone i call it the fist because it looks like a, a fist, a fist. You could see. this uh, is the lion stone can you see the you profile see. of a yes. lion yes the kissing stone and the other side of the lion stone, it looks like a horse, actually. So it's um, so every one... stone here is a symbol or a language. Yeah, exactly. It's got a personality. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. This, these two large stones over there, we'll go over there next. Uh, is the the gateway to the south, and um, there are two avenues that lead from the the henge. You have the western avenue coming in. Mm -hmm and then the southern avenue leading out. And uh, the western avenue is water and the southern is fire. So your, your, the, the western water avenue is the birth avenue. So and then the south also fire us to the element, is, the, is the, element the, the death avenue. Wow. So you're born and you die. And at the end of the death avenue is where the stones now in Stonehenge came so from. So your way, sanctuary. your way in and your way out. Exactly. It's as simple yeah, yeah. as that. So and if you, above, so yeah. it is below. Yeah. And if you look at it from from above, the the main uh, um, the main circle with the two circles inside looks like the the splitting of the 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 cell of the, the baby, mm -hmm. the vesicle Pisces, and the, the it looks like the womb and the the two avenues look like the the um, the ovaries, mm -hmm. and then there's a river that leads from from uh, the uh, Avery, uh, Avery Circle mm -hmm. down to the um, uh, Silbury Hill, which was a pyramid shape hill, mm -hmm. um, and that's the birth can and the, the river represents the birth canal. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty cool. It's kind of all about birthing and mother this, earth. This yeah. this also depict the origin of the Christian baptism. And when you want to decode it, it's a very a bit longer because they believe that in the ancient time there was there was there was this desert. So anytime there is birth, river or water, has, the flood has to take place for new um, 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 food or trees to grow. They call it rebirth. Mm. So that's where they decode. They decode or find or coin the word baptism from and then they said a child is born or a newborn baby is here that is what you are also trying to mm, uh -huh. mm, yeah mm. so that's it because like yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the baptism it. we believe actually is an ancient celtic tradition as well where people uh, at, at wells and waterfalls they would jump in as a leap of faith baptism mm -hmm. to surrender to nature mm -hmm. you know, so yeah, that's empowering it. wow <coughs> so actually apparently everything we are saying is the same thing but how we put it wherever you go we are just saying the same language yeah. but in different forms exactly because so wherever what are we fighting about then mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Wherever you go, you find this sun, you find this moon, you find this river, you find this water, you find this fire. It's the same thing we are all trying to... Let me ask this last question, then we go to our last location. Okay. Do you think black people and white people are the same people? Of course. You believe we so? We all came from the same place, yeah. It's interesting about the, uh, the white uh, race, that originally, you know, the... the, the uh, my belief, or you know, shared belief, that we came from ape and goat, that, that those people were naturally black-skinned. And the, um, then when that was the time when the planet was perpendicular and everything was in harmony, that was the time of the Garden of Eden or Garden of Odin. And you, know, you, didn't, have to, you didn't have winter and summer, you didn't have to strive through the summer to, to, to have harvest and, and then put everything away to survive the winter because it was horrible and harsh. Then something happened to the planet, maybe it was hit by meteorites um, that tilted the planet 40 degrees. And when that happened, it went from harmony and peace and unity division. to into into chaos and division. Yeah. So then that then the winter and the summer was created. But also, when that happened, the 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 planet froze and then melted and froze and then melted and froze and then melted and froze and, and that's been happening for millions of years. A man has witnessed all of this happening, and it slowly started to relax every time we have a, we had an ice age. Uh, 12,000 years ago ended 9,000 years ago so it's still happening but it's slowly coming to peace probably as the planet is again writing itself but um, the the when that happened the first time it was the Ragnarok that the 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 um, the Nordic people Arthur Pendragon, Uther Pendragon, this is the head, the head dragon seat, the, the druidic seat. And that's connected, to, I was talking about the, the ley lines and how you, you raise the ley lines and the, it turns from the serpent lines to the dragon lines in the, in the, in the, in the, the Kundalini the and the third the eye, I know that. So this is where you would sit to, to, to do that visualization because you've got the Michael and the Mary ley lines coming through here and the energy of the, the circle as well. So very, so very powerful spot. How come they've spot. left this place to... Uh, they have to feel this. <laughs> so people can shall I Shall I throw my coat down for no, you? No, no. Oh, <laughs> no. Me, I can do anything. Maybe one of the more gentlemen gentlemen will do, do that. <laughs> no, they're not jumping to you. Look at it. Yeah. I can't sit comfortably. You'll be all right. I'm you can, to you can wash your trainers later. No. No. <laughs> it was how the soldier man's car. <laughs> 
Yes, oh. I will hang in there like this. So this is the truth. That's enough. So you can you're you're the there. You're, no, you can sit there. <laughs> sit there. <laughs> wow. Wow. So yeah. So, so in the 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 biggest festival on this site is the the winter solstice. Okay. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. The Samhain, which is just before the winter solstice. Okay. It's the it's um uh, more commonly known as Halloween nowadays. Oh yes. Yeah, Samhain. Uh, the 31st of um, uh, November, o October, no. October, 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 31st yes, of October yes, yes, yes. evening and then into the 1st of November, which is the in uh, the Celtic New Year, mm -hmm. actually. And every uh, Samhain, uh, in ancient times, the, the, the pagans and the Druids would gather here and they would um, uh, see if anybody wanted to take on the role of Archdruid, for, which is only really for a year and a day. The role is for a year and a day. And if anybody doesn't want to take it on, then the, the standing Archdruid will, will continue uh, the, the role. And we had an Archdruid here for about you know, 20, 25 years or something like that. And he, sadly, he passed away. But they've actually got a new Archdruid that uh, looks like he's really taken the job very well. Uh, so they, the, the, the ancient times, if someone wanted to, to take on the role of Archdruid and the community accepted, then he would come round here to meet the current Archdruid, and then the Archdruid would then offer his seat to the new Archdruid. So this is a very ceremonial, purposeful place, you know, a very important place. Wow. And that's the, the Pendragon site wow. as well. And this, this mound here, um, you see uh, here at the end, mm -hmm. it kind of has a twist and it looks like the, a serpent's tail at the mm -hmm, end. Mm -hmm. But I believe actually this was all covered in chalk, in white chalk, and it was the effigy of a serpent, like an Ouroboros serpent with his tail in his mouth. And this is like the center point where you would go down the avenue of death to start your, your journey to uh, end of life. So we, can we say <coughs> this, 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 this thing looks like a womb? Can yeah, we say? Mm. it looks Boom, like the yeah, womb, yeah. like the snake, like the well, the mother earth. Yeah, yeah. Can yeah. we link it to, mm. to that? Mm -hmm. wow. Yeah. wow, this is beautiful. And the, the mounds here actually were um, from the bottom of the ditch to the top of the mound mm -hmm. was 60 foot. That's how huge they were. And they, we believe that they were all covered in compacted chalk. And you can imagine uh, what the, the purpose were of these mounds when you stand here because it created a 360 degree horizon around you so you could easily see the movement of the, the setting sun and the planets rising and the star system and everything like that. Wow. Even even on the, the the darkest of nights you would see everything because yes. it was it was chalk and it was like glowing in the dark, you know. Okay, so the people living here are they connected to this place or anybody at all? Yeah, yeah, a lot of a lot of there's a very active pagan druid community living here. The um the arch druid lives in the house behind these trees, which was the house built by the Puritans in the 1600s, Whoa. Uh, where the two two uh, circles cross. So now it's owned by by the arch druid, which is That's perfect. That's it. It belongs yeah, to them. Yeah, back, They are brother come to see. It's gone back to how it should yes. be. Yeah, yeah. His family. Um, were famous for marmalade. They made Keela marmalade. Wow. Made a fortune in marmalade. So we, we had to thank marmalade for yes, this site. Yes, it's beautiful. Abusia, nti mwa mo brofo na aka half to say me dey ni bi no. Mo amo te papa no mo ntra tro ko men say she hono en crofo nti bi na we dey. Ye na ya boy ya home modern. But at the end of the day we are giving you the best 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 history and we as all these things are being protected <coughs> being managed so well. It is a mobile way moving now, your signs and symbols. No more would be a word you are much that most said that you come who were African rock, they come who were brought to the Oko who were Techima. What are we doing about it? Yeah, dear, mismanagement. I hear your proper teacher say you move in so if we be being important, we and call for tall war home. Hey, she, hey, Chiaka, and I did any day. We have found quite doing dream more. There is nothing bigger than tourism. When you go to Israel, they depend on tourism. When you go to uh, Arab Emirates, you, uh, uh, Dubai, they depend on tourism. And here, look at a whole UK. We went to Stonehenge, you saw the number of people. There 1.5 million people visit there a year. And look at this place. 
a bonk in kitchen, if you and fear yet, you see, hey, or muscle who history. One and maybe could share a boo will be more touchy mind. I can't wood him. We're not many walk up half the amount of visitors come here. Yes, mm. yes. So everybody is allowed to come here. But the, those who own this place are taking eye. Their eyes on this place are on this place. It's on this place. Yeah. I was here. We have found quite a dream. Bibia, your bronzam. Bibia, and yet. And so, when you are not in Bobana, so move booby to see dying. At name, my jam will be beer ho. She and from Maracola Babby two, three day again. Intermediate, they are met to me, I am a me, you know. Mamma Motuho, Mamma say. I brought for the Omo Yewe, Omo Yet Technology, Omo Yes will be best spending a whole fortune to make sure that we are reconstructing the history, the lineage. Yeah, then, yeah, yeah. Bibi, I am evil. Me, I mean, you will cram me who you were he, who you uncle work with me. I to watch me, I'm a water. Ain't you know? Your free stone hench, your cold wood hench, and your bar ivory. Ain't you more moody you can now when you see car, moody touch a king. Where Pierpi, I'm a washer them. It's a canon, I'm a pedia could see dying. Our gun and so moon caught in a moon pono. Moon first, you can't be in better way. Moon man and ten fast so. Moon dies and will blame me at the same gaining more consciousness. Now, moon who where to place money, where to invest money. This is everything life. Keeping uh, um, nature, keeping history, keeping culture, your lineage, your ancestors, they, they, you came through them. So if you think you can throw them away and have your way, it's a lie. You are watching the quest of Akabulana. I am the biggest, I am the largest, I am the tallest. And we are here with our brother. Please say bye bye to them, mention your name, give them advice about their ancestors. I am the little, I am the smallest, <laughs> I am the, I am tall, <laughs> the uh, tallest tours of uh, sacred England. So come and join us, come and, come and witness these beautiful sights with, with, uh, with me and uh, happy to see you. How should we connect with our ancestors? Advise us. How do we connect to our ancestors? Well, yes. visit their, their, their homes where mm -hmm. they've been coming for thousands of years. Get into the land. And connect. You know, yeah, and just, just walk, the, walk the land that they were and they'll be there with you, you know, and just um, be open to sensing them around you, you know. That's mm. it. Be open to sensing them around you. Thanks for watching. That journey continues. I'm always...